Hello everyone, welcome to All Chemistry. I hope your paper went well or moderate. Because the question paper was not too tough, it was more moderate. And if you have uh, followed my previous video, you can see questions uh, were common and uh, it followed com absolutely the specimen paper, the question of the I mean, the sample paper, the specimen paper that provided by the council. Uh, and sorry for that because of uh, some time issue, I couldn't. Uh, upload videos on the chapter was question or more important questions but whatever i have uploaded i think you have got common from that it should be should come and uh, so today i will solve the question paper i think whatever you have given and uh, means chemistry paper you have given that that's done that is over now you have to uh, focus on your next exam so if you are having physics i think so next exam or next exam you have to focus on it and you can check the answers later on also so which is correct which is not now you focus on your question now you focus on answer only then you check your answers now you focus on your next exam so one of my students have sent me the question paper so thank you for that um your writing first question the first three question is very easy the half life period of dash order reaction is dash of initial concentration of the reactant. The half life period of if I am writing here first order reaction. So, in case of first order reaction, half life period, the expression is like P half equals to 0.693 divided by K. That means order of the reaction is dash of initial concentration. That means there is no term of initial concentration. So, that one will be independent independent that one will be the answer paramagnetic compounds are generally so paramagnetic means there are unpaired number of electron but because of presence of unpaired number of electron paramagnetic compounds are generally colored and contain dash electron dash electron means unpaired electron then benzyl dehyd undergoes dash substitution at position okay uh, here is one of the trick that benzyl dehyd as we know that this is one of the electron withdrawing group so that shows meta directive meta directivity towards towards electrophilic substitution so if you are writing here meta then you have to mention if you are writing here electrophilic substitution electrophilic then you have to write here meta if you are writing nucleophilic then you have to write here ortho and para okay select the right uh, alternative so here it is told that e in the complex we have to uh, find out the coordination number and we have to write the oxidation state so if you are going for coordination number as you can see two chlorine and four ammonia is there two chlorine and four ammonia means coordination number is six so either option a will be correct or option b now you have to we have to check the oxidation number suppose the oxidation state of e is x then x and chlorine chloride is minus one then two chloride so minus two that will be equals to plus one because nitrate is minus one so that will make the coordination sphere as positive so x will be equals to plus 3 so here option a will be the correct option okay, next question we are having benzaldehyde assertion is given colloidal solutions are stable but colloidal particles do not settle down it's absolutely correct colloidal particle does not stable down Brownian movement counters uh, the force of gravity actively on colloidal particles that means brownian movement counters the force of gravity actively on colloidal particles that means because of brownian motion so colloidal particles uh, can be stable and it can counter the force of gravity that's also actually correct so uh, colloidal solutions are stable but colloidal particles do not settle down actually behind the stability of colloidal particle there are other reasons also like electrical charge is also one of the reason but here as one of the reason is given one of the reason of stability of colloidal particle is brownian movement so as we can say assertion reason both are correct and assertion and the reason is the correct explanation so both assertion and reason are true reason is the correct explanation for assertion this also we can go for next write the iupac name as you can see if I divide it into the cationic or anionic sphere here we are having first the uh, one is cationic sphere and the second one is um, the anionic sphere with three positive charge that means here we can name it as tetra amine 
dichloro cobalt with the oxidation state and the oxidation state will be free chloride that will be the name then we are having tri oxalato alu and uh, beforehand it will be potassium because this is the cation so we are having the first one tetraamine dichloro cobalt 3 chloride the second one potassium trioxalato aluminate 3 these are the ipsc name write the chemical equations to illustrate each of the following aldol reaction is nothing but suppose we have taken cho LD, uh, CHO aldehyde and along with that one alpha hydrogen is present there then it will it is reacting with the base and there are there is another molecule of acetaldehyde present and that two molecule will get attached and it can give you so this is basically aldol reaction then after that here from here one hydrogen one which will go out so uh, by this dehydration your double bond may come alpha beta unsaturated ketone Next one is Hell Volher Zelensky reaction that is HVZ reaction. So, in case of Hell Volher Zelensky, we need one acid a group, acid compound. If we are reacting it with bromine and phosphorus, then that alpha hydrogen, the, all the alpha hydrogen will be substituted by bromine and uh, we can write it as CH2Br. When one of the hydrogen will be substituted, then that one will be the uh, product. So, this is Hell Volher Zelensky reaction products from when benzene diazonium chloride benzene diazonium chloride means that n2 positive bond is there is reacting with aniline is reacting with aniline so aniline means para more electron density so through para it will attack and it will form the couple product and here's methylamine chcl3 potassium hydroxide here we can get ch3 nc that is methyl S by uh, that is methyl carbonamine the reaction is called carbonamine reaction carbonamine reaction okay next question okay next i will so solve all the chemical kinetics question the first question is given a first order reaction is 50 percent completes in 30 minutes at 27 degree so if t1 is the 27 degree that means 300 kelvin and at that time, first order reaction completes in 30 minutes. That means half life equals to 0.693 divided by K1. So we can calculate the K1 from there 0.693 divided by 30. And for the second case, when T2 is equals to 10, when T2 is equal to 47 degree centigrade. 47 degree centigrade means 320 Kelvin. That time k2 will be equals to 0.693 divided by 10 minutes now as we know from our Henius equation we are having ln k2 by k1 so now we can uh, take k2 by k1 as t half of first reaction that is or or we can write k2 by k1 as well here k2 by k1 is equal to k2 by k1 is equal to 0.693 by 10 divided by 0 0.693 by 30 so that one is 30 by 10 that will be equals to ea activation energy by 8.314 r into minus 1 by t2 that is 320 minus 1 by t1 that is 300 from here we can calculate the e value in joule per mole the answer will come 43.84 kilojoule mole in there so this is the question this is the answer next question again from organic organic carries a huge mark that i have told you before also aniline here reacting with bromine water so aniline is nh2 and having electron donating effect whenever we are giving bromine water that will provide electrophile and aniline is the nucleophile here so from here we can get tri bromo 1 3 5 uh, that is NH2 is here 1 2 3 1 3 5 tri bromo aniline will be the product here okay and balanced equation we have to write we have to balance the equation 
ethyl amine and ethyl bromide. So ethyl amine taken CH3NH2. With it, ethyl bromide has reacted. CH3CH2Br. Okay, wait. Ethyl amine. So here it will be CH3CH2NH2. CH3CH2NH2. So here the uh, um, that uh, amine, this is the nucleophilic center. This one is the electrophilic center. So here it will be formed CH3CH2NHCH2CH3. That one we can get from it. And the rest of the part, hydrogen and bromine, will make will give HBr. Okay, and we have to balance it and necessary uh, necessary product also we have to get according we have to give according to that. Here the rest of the thing. Suppose we have uh, written here three bromine and water molecule. Then rest of the bromine will make bond with OH. Formaldehyde and acetaldehyde. So we have to distinguish. See, this one is very easy. Formaldehyde is HCHO, acetaldehyde is CH2CHO. So we can distinguish with iodo form test. This will give positive test and this will not give positive test. Benzaldehyde and acetic acid. Uh, this one is also very, very easy. Benzaldehyde means aldehyde, acetic acid means uh, that uh, acid CH3. CO 2H CH3 CO 2H. So if we add sodium bicarbonate, acetic acid will give effervescent, whether benzyl dehyde will not give. Through that chemical reaction, we can distinguish. Uh, a first order reaction takes 100 minutes of completion, 60%. Now that means the red constant will be equals to 2.303 divided by 100 log of initially suppose it was 100 now it remaining consideration 60 percent completed remaining will be 40 from there we can calculate the k value and then time required we have to put the k value here 2.303 divided the k value log of 100 by 10 because 90 percent completed 10 10 will remain so after putting after calculating the values we have got the answer as 251.5 Two nine minute and one more thing if you will get any different answer on any different uh, answer you are getting or different way you are getting then of course inform me uh, do comment below that what you have got and why you are telling but I will tell you first you uh, concentrate on your next exam then you go to the answers next question you see MA NB product is given so first I have written the rate equals to R in the means of the concentration, reactant concentration A, suppose with respect to A, the order is X. With respect to B, the order is Y. Now, when R1 will be the rate, that time it becomes double when we are making A, concentration of A as double and B remains same. And the rate will become four times when we are making the concentration of B double and A is uh, remain same. So, if we, uh, this one, if we are marking this equation number this equation number 1 equation number 3 divided equi dividing equation number 3 by equation number 1 that we can get from here 4 by 1 equals to 2b by b to the power y that means 4 equals to 2 to the power y so y will be equals to 2 so order of the reaction with respect to b is 2 next we will do equation 2 divided by equation 1 so what we will get? We will get 2 by 1 equals to 2k by a to the power x. That means 2 to the power x. So x will be equals to 1. So with respect to a, the reaction is a first order reaction. So here overall of order of the reaction will be 2 plus 1. That is overall order will be 3. So this is the answer. Again, uh, any factor that influence the rate of reaction that of course temperature that uh, fact that um, on that time rate of reaction depends and another is concentration of the reactant upon that also rate of reaction depends okay yeah, yeah initial concentration of a reactant in a first order reaction 20 percent of reactant is consumed in 30 minutes that means it has taken to con uh, consume 20 percent is 30 minutes that is t time is given as 30 minutes so 2.303 divided by 30 
we can calculate the rate constant from that taking log of initial concentration suppose it was 100 and remaining concentration is 80 100 by 80 so from here we can calculate the rate constant in the term of in the unit of minute inverse and half life we can calculate from 0.693 divided the value of k in the unit of minute and we can calculate the, the other part that is how much time it will take putting the value of k here 2.303 by putting the value of k log of initial concentration if it was 100 now remaining concentration it is 93.75 percent is completed so remaining concentration will be that much 6.25 so from there we can calculate this time after calculating it after putting the values we will get this answers this is minute inverse the rate constant is in minute the half lifetime and this is the time required to complete the reaction in 93.75%. Next question theoretical question the size of trivalent cation in lanthanide series decreases steadily as the atomic number increases. What is this phenomena called? So trivalent cation in lanthanide series decreases whenever uh, the reduction of uh, size we are discussing about in lanthanide series increasing steadily as atomic number increases. We can consider this as lanthanoid contraction. Lanthanoid contraction. Okay. Then why are the compounds of transition elements colored? Because transition elements means presence of unpaired electron. Unpaired electron. So because of the electronic transition, this is colored. Here it is uh, one of the coordination complex. The is the complex diametric or paramagnetic? Let's calculate the oxidation number of iron. Suppose x and cyanide is having 6 minus, so minus 6 that will give you overall 4 minus. That means x is having oxidation number of plus 2. So iron is in plus 2 oxidation state as well as cyanide is the strong field ligand. So this is the strong field ligand. It will help in forming low spin complex. So suppose it has formed low spin complex with D6. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means it will be diamagnetic in nature in presence of cyanide environment and having iron 2 plus what is the hybridization, hybridization what is the hybridization state of central metal iron hybridization state uh, if it, it it is asked then hybridization state of course it will be sp3 d2 because this is octahedral in nature okay next we are having name the type of isomerism bromine and sulfate changes its position so that one will be kind of ionization isomerism and if you want to show that sp3d2 so how to show that uh, iron is having d6 configuration and is uh, here iron is in the plus 2 oxidation state and s is vacant now we need six places six vacant places my cyanide is the strong field ligand so it can push the electron inside to make the places vacant so we are having s and we will have d so we can and also p is vacant here so one s three p is vacant one two three four two more places we need that means sp3 d2 will be the hybridizer okay uh, and the next question is given see here coagulation power more most effective coagulation power we have to check as we are having s2 s3 as this is negatively charged so we will follow the charge of the cation we, have, we are having k plus mg2 plus al3 plus so of course with the more charge they that will have most high coagulating power bleeding caused by nick from razor during uh okay um, shaving can be stopped by rubbing alum so this is the uh, we are forming blood as colloidal solution so we are adding alum to make the colloid muddy water can be purified by adding potash alum so why we are adding potassium because if we go for the charge of the colloid particle if we add potassium so it will break the colloidal solution it will you it will help in uh, making precipitate and we can purify the water so this is the reason i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, for further chemistry videos and for further uh, that more knowledge you can follow my channel and you can share this video with a friend those who want to take their answer and best of luck for the next of the exam and thank you for watching